They don't look like anything that I have in my collection, and I dig that. Now that I have them on feet, I'm not sure which laces I prefer. Maybe the black ones now. Let me know what you all like the most. Either the black or this mustard yellow. They both look good, honestly. I don't think there's a wrong choice. Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. Today, I want to get into a pair of kicks that's actually a collaboration between New Balance and Bodega. This is a silhouette that I haven't had yet, but I love the colors, I love the style of these, and I can't wait to get into them with y'all. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Bodega New Balance 610s. So this pair has been on my radar for a while. I ordered these directly from Bodega. They are about to drop on the New Balance website. I think the retail price for these is 160 US dollars. I was able to pick them up from Bodega without any difficulty or anything. Part of why I've been looking forward to these so much is because of how much I like the Bodega 9060s. I think that was one of my favorite pairs from last year and I just love the materials and the style. I think they're really unique. I really like what Bodega does with a lot of their collaborations. Actually, I have a pair of Bodega Dunks that I think are absolute fire and they really got no love. I think they kind of have an Americana theme to them, but I've had those for years and I wear those a good bit, but I think the masses aren't really feeling them. This pair really had my attention. The colors reminded me of like ACGs from back in the day and it's on like a trail inspired running shoe. So it's sticking with that popular theme of a running silhouette, but it's a running silhouette that's more able to handle running on the trail or, you know, the terrain that I have around here. Looking at the box, it's a standard cardboard box, really nothing too out of the ordinary, but it does have the dual branding, Bodega and New Balance. And then it says Trail 610 there. I guess that's in a green color. But then on the sides, you can see this green and purplish New Balance. That goes along with some of the colors on the shoe. It's definitely a nostalgic color scheme that reminds me of the 90s. The tag reads New Balance Bodega 610. This is a men's size 10. I typically go true to size whenever I get new balance shoes and speaking of the size stick around to the end because i will throw these on since i haven't had this silhouette before i want to know how they feel what the fit is like and i'll be giving you that information as well but getting into the shoes i really really like these things there is a whole lot going on there's a lot of different colors there's a lot of different materials but somehow it just works. You can tell right away that these are kind of built to be punished a little bit, whether it's the thick rubber that we have here on the front of the toe box, or maybe just this really aggressive tread. You can really tell that these will serve you well if you're doing some off-roading or that sort of thing. I actually took out the laces that came in the shoe. It came with some real thin bungee styled laces and they had a lace lock at the top, but I really didn't care for the way that they looked. It also came with these two spares. I wasn't sure which one I would prefer, so I put both of them in. And I actually think I'm feeling this yellow pair. I think that looks pretty cool, but it's like a mustard color and it matches some of the overlays that you see on the shoe. Somehow, I just think it works really well with all the colors that we have on this upper. But then we also have a black rope style lace and both these pairs have little hits of reflective all through them. And I really like that. We also had little hits of reflective on the bungee style laces that came initially in the shoe. Maybe I'll show you a picture of what they look like initially, just so you know what I'm talking about. But 
I definitely think these thicker rope style laces look better than what the bungees did that came in them. But getting into the review, you can see that we've got this dark black rubber tread pattern. And then we also have these little accents. It looks like we kind of have that mustard yellowish color and then like a minty blue color along with a red color. And I really like those accents. The outsole really does seem grippy. It's that hard rubber that New Bounce uses on a lot of their running shoes. But I think that this tread is really going to work out well if you are on the trails and that sort of thing. And while these are definitely built for the trails, I saw where Bodega made the comment that they wanted a trail shoe that would also function well if you were wearing them in the streets as well. And I think they really accomplished that. I'm really looking forward to getting them on feet to see how they look. As you come up from that outsole, you can see all these different areas of different colored foam and it seems like they all have different densities like there's a light gray color a darker gray color and then more of that like minty blue color and it seems like if you press on each one of those foams they all feel like they have a different density a different firmness and that sort of thing I am expecting these to be a little bit more firm under feet than what maybe 2002 R's are and that sort of thing, but I do expect them to be way more comfortable than your standard like ACG, like the Locates or something like that. I don't think they're going to be that hard and that rigid. I think they'll be kind of in between a New Bounce running shoe and an ACG shoe, if that makes any sense. As we get to the upper, starting at the front, this is a thick rubber that we have over top of the toe box and i'd imagine that would you know kind of protect the shoe protect your feet from the elements if you're running through the woods and that sort of thing but it also just looks really cool inside of that we have some reflective hits and that really really glows when the light hits it we've also got reflective for the end the end on the inside of the shoe is also reflective but it has little hits of purple so it looks really neat whenever it catches the light i also noticed that the tag on the tongue is reflective as well and again we see some co-branding with bodega and new balance moving back the shoe we have some overlays that actually feel kind of premium this feels like new buck here in a black color and then we also have some areas of hairy suede down here it's in a dark gray color up here around the eye stays you have some hairy suede in a lighter gray color and i like all the contrasting stitching just the little accents that we get all over the place and again i just love the mix of materials the mix of textures and all the different colors that we have on these i just think they're really unique looking and they have a lot of personality but they also seem like they're going to be really functional and i really like that we also have some more new buck here on the inner half of the shoe in that mustard yellow color and again that really matches the laces that i have in this one then for the base of the shoe, this almost looks like a ripstop material. I'm not sure if it's nylon or what, what it's made out of, but it's definitely synthetic. But it's got a nice blue color. I really like that shade. And it's got all these little squares on it, almost like a ripstop material would. But at the same time, it feels really light. And I'd imagine that it is pretty breathable whenever you have them on feet. It does have little loops down here around the toe box, around this rubber overlay. And whenever the shoes came, they had those bungees wrapped down through there, but I didn't take the laces down through. I'm sure you could if you wanted. And while I'm talking about the laces, there's also this nice tab that runs up the center of the tongue. And I think you could mess with how you laced them a good bit and get a unique fit and a unique look to them with however you wanted to do that. Again, we've got contrasting colors for these little loops going up the eye stays, and I think that's pretty neat looking. And like I mentioned, we have this light baby blue kind of loop that runs up the middle of the tongue. I think that's really neat. The base of the tongue is a breathable gray mesh like we see up around the collar. And the top of the tongue is a short haired gray suede. To match that strip of canvas that runs up the center of the tongue, we also have a loop on the heel in that baby blue color. 
and I guess that accent kind of matches down here on the midsole. I think I read that Bodega used inspiration from pigeon's wings, like the iridescent effect that you see on pigeons. You know how when the light catches them just right, you can see the purple, the blue, and all those different colors. I think I saw that Bodega said that they used that as their inspiration whenever they were picking the color palette and that sort of thing. And looking at the shoe in person, I definitely think that inspiration is identifiable on these shoes. I think they came out great. I think they look really cool in hand. They seem like they're made well, and even though the base of the shoe is a synthetic material, a lot of these overlays have a really premium feel, and I couldn't really find any QC issues with this pair, so I'm always happy about that. It looks like our sock liner is a purple material, and that feels a lot like sweat pants or that sort of thing it's very very soft and it's nice and padded up there around the collar and then down on the insole that's more of that mustard yellow color and we see some bodega and some new balance branding down on the insole but that was a pretty quick rundown of these i wanted to save some time to throw these on feet and talk about the fit and that sort of thing i'll be right back all right, so I've got them on feet, and I'm really loving them. They're wide. They're really wide. I'm a size 10, and I have wide feet, so on narrow shoes, I have to go up to a size 10 and a half. I'm glad I went true to size on these, because these feel even wider than my wide feet. So if you like a snug fit, or you have narrow feet, I would probably recommend going a half size down. If you have wide feet, I recommend going true to size. But aside from that, I really, really like the look of them. And they feel really, really firm under feet, but not in an uncomfortable way. Like, even though it's firm, it doesn't feel like you're walking on rocks or anything. They definitely have a unique style. They don't look like anything that I have in my collection, and I dig that. Now that I have them on feet, I'm not sure which laces I prefer. Maybe the black ones now. Let me know what you all like the most. Either the black or this mustard yellow. They both look good, honestly. I don't think there's a wrong choice. digging these. Very happy with this purchase. And where that blue material is on the upper, it does seem like it's pretty breathable. Like, I don't think these are going to be really hot on feet, which is a huge plus for the summertime. Alright, well I hope that was enough to give you a decent look at these Bodega New Balance 610s. I love the look of them. I like the fit of them. They're actually surprisingly comfortable even though they do feel really, really firm underfoot. I think these things are great. I might test them out and run through the woods. I appreciate you all watching. Let me know what you think about these. Let me know which laces you prefer. And if you're considering picking these up whenever they drop on the New Balance website. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.